so just tell me what, what do you think the value of a program like this is for, for kids and um, why is this the most well, I think this is one of the most extraordinary collections of young people I've seen. I mean, these aren't just smart kids. They're kids that want to make a difference in the world. And I think each one has a big dream, and I think some of these kids you're going to see on the cover of Time Magazine in 10 or 20 years. Try that again. Sorry about that. No problem. Go ahead. Just say your name real quick. It's uh, former California State Controller Steve Westley. Value of the program. Yeah. It's uh, former California State Controller Steve Westley. What do I think the value of the yeah. program is? I think this is one of the most extraordinary groups of young people I've seen. They're not only smart, but these are people with big dreams. These are kids that want to change the world. I think some of them are going to be starting the next Google or eBay. I think it's an exciting group. I think the kids learned a lot from each other. Great. And what do you think? I mean, in, in general, entrepreneurship is of course the thrust of the set. Well, I thought what was so great about this meeting is California is what's dri uh, entrepreneurship is what's driven the economy in California, and there were a smattering of kids from California that got that. The great majority of kids were from other parts of the state or country, and I think they were frankly astonished to get a sense of just what this uh, magic mix is in Silicon Valley that's helped spurn so many people like Steve Jobs and. Sergey Brin, the founder of Google, I think they all got a taste, a quick infusion of uh, the entrepreneurial spirit. I think these kids are going to go home changed. Okay, so um, wouldn't someone start by telling me uh, who you are, where you're from, and uh, what, you're, what you're here doing? <coughs> We are the Falcon Robotics EV ROV team based in Car Hayden High School in Phoenix, Arizona. We are presenting the idea of an EV ROV, an extravehicular remotely operated vehicle that would assist in uh, space shuttle explore, uh, space exploration. And uh, it basically be uh, a robot that can will be on the outside of the spacecraft, docked on the outside of the spacecraft, and it will be able to do uh, reconnaissance. It would also perform simple tasks. It will have a couple arms on it so that it can pick up things, move things around, so then uh, it reduces the need for EVAs that, that humans actually have to do. So it makes it safer, it makes it cheaper, and it makes it a lot faster. So that's, those are our three selling points, and we're kind of selling the idea, hoping someone, hoping the judges like it. Okay, yeah. great, great. And small, okay, so you've been working on this uh, a while. How, when did you start, and, and what was the beginning of the whole process? But, we started a little before, uh, well, we started in, we heard about this last summer, and we were like, oh, this is pretty cool, we should, we should do this competition, and then um, we decided to, and we didn't really get to start working, because we had a, we were busy doing other stuff, we do other robotic competitions, and up until, like, uh, before January, we started uh, making the letters and all that, and writing the proposal and stuff, and then we started to to learn more and more about EVAs and how this really could have become a reality. Um, <clears throat> your robotics pros, I mean, this, this particular competition is just one of dozens you're doing. You're, 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 uh, you're doing this stuff anyway even without the, the Conrad. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, we participate in the first robotics, which is which is a competition for high school students, and we build 120 robot pound robots that compete with teams across the country. And um, we just we were just at a regional, but now this is about the Pete Conrad Award. Um, so. Okay, so you've been working on this now for a couple of months, probably been sweating it and thinking about it, and about the presentation. Uh, the day is tomorrow. Yeah. Yes. Are you ready? Yeah, we're yeah. ready as well over me. Yeah, we've been practicing a lot at, the, at our hotel room every night. <laughs> for the past few days, we've been practicing at least an hour a night. You know. We've also been developing a prototype to have a little exhibition yeah. of, that, of an actual first 
stage EVR will be kind of prototype first phase. Cool. All right. Hey. Uh, all right. Take me there. Take me to the the, the night practice in the in the hotel. Like, what what actually happens? Who does what? When when do you like you stand up in front of your coach or what happens? So uh, yeah, basically we uh, set up a projector, shine it on the wall. Uh, we use a Wii remote to switch between slides, and we just practice with that because uh, it's, just, it's just a cool, innovative thing to do. And uh, we, we present to uh, our mentor, our two mentors, and uh, there's a reporter that's following us around this year. It's a special thing, and uh, we present to him, so he also critiques what we do. So uh, basically, we run through our presentation. Sometimes it's really rough, sometimes it go pretty smoothly, but when we're done, we take criticism, and then we do it over again. And uh, it basically just cycles over and over until until we're too tired to go, and we have to just go to sleep. Okay. <laughs> so how many, how many times do you think you've practiced the presentation? About 20 at least, I think, right? Yeah, yeah in the last yeah. couple of days. Couple days, the last three days. And you haven't memorized you every word now? Uh, no, it's well, like a... Really, we don't really have a script or memorization. We know this this EVROV by heart. We, we've been working on this for uh, quite a while now, and it, the, the information is there. It's just how we execute the information. Yeah. You know, we're, we're intimately like knowing the, the EVR. We, we and know. we each specialize in our own part. We each do something. To, you know, we have a, a role on the team. So we talk about what we do, and we know well, what we, we, know best. we know what we're doing. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you've been doing it in front of you know your mentors <clears throat> and one or two other people. Tomorrow it's going to be a room full of people. And of course, a room full of really smart people who really know your subject. What's that going to be like? It's going to be even better. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to really test us, and uh, we're really, really going to know whether it's a good idea or not. Yeah. It'll, yeah. it'll have. A, it's an opportunity for the best of us to come out. The best that we have. Here. That sounds confident. Anybody nervous at all? We're all a little nervous, a little, I think. Yeah. yeah, a little bit. Uh, and any any particular kind of so you know tomorrow it'll, it'll kind of all be you know, you'll have to put all that rehearsing behind you and kind of keep your one idea in mind you know it's going to be probably the things your mentors have told you speak up or look at the art you know mm -hmm. is there something like that tell me what what each of you are going to be thinking about tomorrow. Well, I'm gonna try to talk slower because I apparently talk extremely fast and yeah, so I'm talking slower for sure. Um, try to be a little bit more confident. I'm kind of new to this all speaking and presenting, so I'm trying to improve my confidence. Uh, I'm going to try to be a little more uh, too monotone, I guess, and uh, more happy. <laughs> <Stop>. Happy. <laughs> I'm going to try to remember some key concepts that I always miss out, that I skip over. <laughs> I'll be trying to look out for all the other people. So if they if they mess up, if they slip up, I want to try to just jump in and help them out. So that because we all know the EVRV equally, pretty much. So uh, if something if someone slips up, I, would, I try to help them out. That's what I, that's what I'll be trying to do. Looking out for that. Um, you think you have a shot at winning, and if you do, why? What's what's going to be special about your team? Well, late, lately, because of all the dinners and uh, the talks that we've heard, we've taken a couple of opportunities to talk to people that actually work in the field of uh, space uh, space exploration. And uh, we present the idea to them, and they all think it's great. So uh, we have high hopes for it, because people that actually work in the field actually think it's a good idea. So uh, we think it's a good idea as well, and uh, we hope we win. Yeah. We have a couple of I mean, uh, unique features, too. So there's a lot of uh, unique things about our our EVROV, our robot that um, haven't been implemented, haven't been implemented in in space and stuff. Um, and <coughs> how psyched would you be to win? How, how, what, what, what are you excited about at that prospect? Mm, well. it, it'd be awesome just to take another win home because it's just another competition, another frontier that we can that we prove that we can do. Because at our school, um, most people don't expect us to do these kind of things. And uh, to do it, it just proves those people wrong. And uh, I mean, to take the trophy home gives all the kids that our because our, our team is about 50 strong. So uh, you know, all the other kids that helped us out with this project, they'll vindicate their work. And uh, we'll all be very proud. <laughs>